and thank you for watching. On today's show, we have another one of the 2015 Kenwood Marine radios. In this case, we have the KMR D362BT. Stay tuned. Okay. All right, so we have one of the brand new Kenwood Marine radios. In this case, it's the D362BT. Yes. Now, the one thing about all Kenwood's. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, I know. Kenwood's marine radios is they can formal coat the board. Basically, they put an epoxy over the board to keep it uh, moisture resistant. So they don't want you to dump a thing of water over the top of it or put it in a bucket of water, but it should be good in the salt, air, damp, moisture, and stuff like that. It should get a, you know, a couple good years out of it. Um, it's a little bit better, and well, it's a lot better than just buying a standard 12 volt radio and jamming it in your dash. Definitely jamming it. <laughs> Okay, with that being said, let's oh. open it up and see what you get with the 362. Open it, up. open it up. You get a power plug. Power plug. Which I'm going to set over here. You get a Bluetooth microphone. Okay, and microphone up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You get an owner's manual. El manual de instrucciones. That no one ever reads. You got foam. Your plastic bag. And that's about all you get in the box. Well, let's okay. go ahead and show you what's on the back, shall we? Alright, alright. Alright. So we got our pointers. Yes. Alright, so it has. It has. Six channel, 2.5 volt pre-outputs. You have the rear, you have the front, and you have the sub. Okay, so este tiene seis salidas de RCA de 2.5 voltios. Ahora bien, obviamente es el trasero, el frontal, y el subwoofer. Yeah, okay. Now, over here you have your antenna input. La entrada de la antena. You have your power plug. La entrada del power. This will do Sirius XM. Obviamente la entrada del Sirius XM. And then this little guy right here that says Mick on it. Mick. Uh, is not a friend. He is your microphone input for the Bluetooth microphone. Y esa es la entrada del micrófono. Now, for all of you out there wondering. Yeah. Myself included. Hold you that. Wonder? Yeah. Tell everyone what that is. Okay, obviamente este, el cable azul y amarillo, es para, con para conectar el control remoto. And what he just said is if you want to add one of the upward remote controls, such as this one, which is the RC35MR, mm -hmm. uh, this is the cool little blue with a yellow white, or yellow white, blue, blue with yellow, yellow wire, W, kind of confusing, um, that you'll be able to add these. You can add multiples of these. You don't have to just add one. You can add, you know, I believe up to six. I mean, okay. So puedes agregar one. como seis. Um, don't quote me. That's Bill's fault if we're wrong. <laughs> and Bill, you know who you are. Okay, so uh, let's move on. We're going to power this thing up and show you what it looks like from the front. Okay, so we have it, the unit powered up. Now, this guy is a 50 watt by 4 yeah. AM FM CD player. Okay, so this is AM FM CD player, 50 watts per 4. Your CD is going to go right here. Right here. Let's see here. It has a USB as well as an 8 inch headphone jack. Obviamente tiene la entrada del USB y la entrada del auxiliar. It has a variable color display. Tiene una pantalla multicolor. Because you need that on a boat. Yeah? Yeah, no. Okay, so it also has Bluetooth. This has Bluetooth for your phone, as we talked about earlier. It has that outboard mic. Uh, you can do voice dialing as well as Siri Ice Free. Obviamente este tiene Bluetooth y puedes hacer uh, control de voz y para cualquiera de los dos teléfonos. It'll also do Bluetooth streaming for music, which is my guess what most of you people want it for. So this will do streaming Bluetooth music. Yeah. <laughs> so obviamente este hace el Bluetooth uh, de música inalámbrica para toda la gente, todo tipo de teléfonos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, if you go through the little source here, we're going to boom through FM, USB, we talked about, auxiliary. You have your Bluetooth audio there. You have your aux. 
And then you have standby. Wow, that was exciting. This will also work with Pandora and iHeartRadio if you plug in one of those cool little lightning connectors to your USB and plug in an iDevice. Otherwise, you can do everything over the Bluetooth audio. So if you don't have an iDevice and you know who you are, uh, you just easily connect to the Bluetooth audio and you can stream anything you want. Now if you have an iDevice, you can do the same thing as well. What it'll basically give you is track up, track down. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. So recuerden que este hace Pandora, uh, iHeartRadio, y si en realidad quisieras tener este control de Pandora o iHeartRadio, necesitas conectarlo al USB, y si no, lo puedes hacer vía Bluetooth. Ahora sí que música inalámbrica. Now, the cool thing that you're buying this for is the sound. What does this thing sound like? What can I do with the sound? What can it play with? Totally. Or you're just trying to be the loudest guy out there. Whatever one works for you. Uh, it has a full sound pack in it. It has a subwoofer level control. It has a three band basic EQ. It has a three band pro EQ with bass and treble center frequency and mid range frequency because it has bass, mid, and treble. Uh, it has eight presets. It has bass boost. It has loudness. It has a high and low pass crossover. Now, I'm going to show you how that works and he's going to talk some more. <laughs> okay, so este tiene el nivel del subwoofer, tiene tres bandas de ecualizador, uh, obviamente el bass, el medio y el agudo. Uh, tiene ocho presets, tiene el bass boost y obviamente tiene el paso alto, el paso bajo con el crossover. All right, so this is your bass center frequency adjustment so you just go in here and you can pick where you want that to be 60 okay you get the idea i don't need to go and label them all uh then you have your level control and then you have your q adjustment q is how boomy or dry you want it you can do that for mid as well mid treble um we'll get out of that and then you have your preset eq it has drive eq top 40 powerful rock pop Easy, jazz, easy. and natural. Easy, like easy a Sunday natural. morning. natural. Yeah, I know, kind of kinky. Um, okay, so you have your bass boost. You have your three-level loudness control. You have your subwoofer set up, or you can turn your subwoofer on and off. And turn it back on. Uh, you have your low-pass filter, which you can choose a frequency of 85, 120, 160. And then you have your sub-phase. And your high pass crossover, we're there again, 100, 125, 150. Your fader, your balance, your volume offset. For those of you who don't know what volume offset is, volume offset gives you the ability to tune everything volume wise to the AM FM radio. So if you're playing your phone and it doesn't seem as loud as the AM FM radio, you can go into volume offset and turn it up. That way, when you go from FM, CD, to auxiliary, to Bluetooth, to USB, all the volumes are the same. So recuerden que este tiene el volumen set, que en realidad este te ayuda a que todo, um, obviamente FM, o si quieres conectar este tu teléfono y quieres que se escuche igual, vas al menú, acomodas lo que, lo, el volumen que tú quieras y se va a escuchar a, una sola, a un solo nivel. Ok. Last but not least, this guy right here. What does that say? What does it say? I don't know. Sound. Yeah? Oh, I, can, I can read it. You can't read it? No, because it's a bunch of gibberish. It says, it basically says sound reconstruction. Sound reconstruction. Now, everyone has a version of this, and Kenwood's yeah. is called sound reconstruction. What is it, you say? Sound reconstruction. No, you're supposed to say, what is it? Oh, what is it? <laughs> It creates a more realistic sound for compressed music. Yeah. Basically, what everyone has figured out is that we're not listening to CDs anymore. We're listening to sources that, well, aren't exactly the highest of quality. So, in order for their units to sound good and not be blamed for it, they've come out with software to make it sound better. In this case, Kenwood's is called Sound Reconstruction. Default is on. Uh, if you're listening to something and you're like, ah, go into the settings and turn it off. And then go, oh, oh, wait a minute, I like it better on. Um, and we do. 
Uh, <laughs> so that'll make your uh, Bluetooth music, your compressed music from your iPod, your Android device, your thumb drive, your stolen music, whatever you got, yeah. sound better. Sound more like it was supposed to sound on a CD that no one has anymore. <laughs> so recuerden que este tiene um, un, un, este, un setting que se llama reconstrucción de sonido. Okay. Good luck with that que one. Te hace, uh, que te hace que en realidad se escuche mucho, mucho mejor. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, mucho, yeah, mucho. I'm not, yeah, I heard horror. Um, <laughs> you're talking about horror again? Okay, so anyways, this is the new 362BT. So we hope uh, anybody out there has any questions, please feel free to ask uh, in the comments down below. Uh, we're done. We're done? We're done. Thank you for watching as usual. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Nice. Uh, I got it right this time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we do this twice a week. There we go. Yeah. Tuesdays and Thursdays. And that's important too. All right. Well, we're done. And thank you for watching. You guys have a nice, safe trip home. Sí, gracias por vernos. Que tengan un buen día. Bye. Bye-bye.